Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is our suspect video. All right, let's get started. Okay, suspect number one is Elizabeth. We put Elizabeth on the suspect list because she was at the scene of the first hooking, which was Ava. She blacked out and she reappeared later on after the stabbing occurred without any recollection of where she was and what happened. Um, during the second stabbing, Elizabeth was at the hospital. Um, the victim was Brando, as we know. So, I, yeah, she was at the hospital at the time. So she's got an alibi for that one. The third stabbing, Diane, she had a headache when she realized that it was Finn's wife and she left. When she realized it was Finn's wife at the bottom of the steps and she left. I don't have a time frame between the stabbing and the time Elizabeth left that hospital. Let me know in the comments. Elizabeth is still on the list. She could have had that headache, blacked out, went on another rampage. Next on the list is Heather, Heather Weber. Heather Weber is on the list because she's Heather freaking Weber. And she's crazy and she's always running them up one way or another. And um, somebody's theory was that she had a relationship with Ryan or she knew Ryan in some way. And her connection um, was between Ryan, Esme, and herself. But I believe it was Michael once again that let us know that Heather and Ryan didn't have any connection with each other back in the day. But we're going to keep Heather on the list because why not? It's Heather. And the way I figure who makes the list and who doesn't. If this person is mentioned as a suspect, you know, in the comment section more than five times, I put them on the list. And Heather is one of those people that, you know, got mentioned. Next on the list is Miss Wu. We all know why Miss Wu was on the list. It makes sense. I mean, everybody that's getting hurt has a connection to Sunny. She wants to take over the territory, even though she's walking around pretending that she doesn't. But let's remember um, that Sherry yesterday made a good point that these uh, people that are being stabbed are also close and connected to Trina in some kind of way. So let's keep that in the back of our mind, you guys. Um, Next on the list is... Claudia Zakara. Remember, I said I was going to put her on the list. You know, they love bringing people back from the dead. Um, like I think Sherry again said somebody, no, Catherine, somebody off screen, somebody we haven't seen or thought about. But then when they bring them out, we're like, oh, yeah, that's a reason. You know, then it makes sense. So Claudia Zakara is on the list now for the females. You know, she has the way she left poor Charles. I think they killed her. Claudia Zakara. Wait, Claudia is the one Michael killed, though, right? Yeah, but she can still come back. She's staying on the list. She has a she has plenty of motive. Next on the list, we are going to <laughs> y'all, Nina. Y'all know y'all put Nina on this list. Now Nina was mentioned more than five times. Nina was mentioned just as much as Esme and Ryan. And I know y'all hands is putting Nina on this list because y'all don't like her with Sunny, and it's not fair. We cannot get rid of her by accusing her of murder she's it's not gonna work but let's run it down why would nina be a suspect okay first of all ava is her best friend and she was on the quarter main grounds at the time of the stabbing but she was with sunny and everybody so we know she didn't stab her best friend ava secondly once again was it nina oh shoot i can't remember exactly where she was when um brando was stabbed i want to say she was there no she wasn't she wasn't there it was gladys sunny and sasha and brando okay okay i don't have i don't know where she was at the time of brando stabbing but i'm sure she has an alibi somebody please help me put in the comments if you remember where nina was at the time brando got stabbed and last but not least diane we know she wasn't around she was at um she was at the hospital at the time of the stabbing. She was on her way. Remember, Sonny called and said, Sasha needs you. So she's probably at Sasha's house or on her way to Sasha. So Nina's on the list because y'all mentioned her so many times. But I really don't think Nina did it either, guys. I'm sorry. Next on the list is one of the main female suspects is Nell. Um, we know Nell hates just about everybody that got stabbed except for Brando. She didn't know him. But we said wrong place, wrong time for Brando. Um, 
You know, Nell has plenty of reason to kill all these people. We think she's dead. We already said she's supposed to be coming back next fall. The The build of the person is small in stature. So she is definitely high on the suspect list and an extreme possibility. Last but not least is Esme, of course. Um, I mean, again, like Sherry said, these people are connected to Trina and Sonny. Like, whether we want to, you know, kind of admit it or not, Trina and Sonny, they have the same friends. As weird as it is because of the age difference and what he does and what she, you know, she's a hot college student. Their circle is similar. It's pretty much the same, you know, as far as Joss, Diane uh, defended her. Curtis and Sonny were friends and he's going to, well, he's her father slash stepfather. You know, it's. It's weird. It could definitely be Esme, Esme and Ryan together, killing two birds with one stone, you know. All right, moving on to the gentleman. Speaking of Ryan, Ryan is, of course, top of the list. Might as well since I brought him up. Um, We already know he could be after all of these people and as a vengeance for his daughter. Um, And at first, I didn't think he would stab Ava because he loves her. But as somebody pointed out, his love is crazy and sick. So, yes, he could have definitely hooked Ava. Next on the list is Officer Rory. Now, we put Rory on the list because Brando said he heard a jingle and Rory wears handcuffs. He's new to town and nobody really knows anything about him. It hasn't came out that he's a woo. We are saying he's a woo. If he's doing this, could he be like a hitman doing this under Selena's orders? Um... We haven't seen Rory. Like I said, we did see him question Dex at the pool that one time after Brando got stabbed. But that doesn't mean anything, does it? Because he could have put that coat and that, you know, I know what you did last summer hookup on right over that uniform. And that's why uh, Brando heard a jingle because he had his uniform on up under that outfit. He's on that list and staying on it. Dex is next on the list. And, you know, we put him on there because he's always there. He too jingles because he wears dogs tags and he's always on the scene. But he's like um, Sherry said, Captain Obvious. Cap- uh, and Catherine said, Captain Obvious. You know, we're not going to we're going to keep him on the list. But I would kind of be disappointed at this point because they're giving us all these clues and stuff. And Dex is so obvious. Um, Next on the list is Morgan. Morgan back from the dead. He has every reason to hook Ava if he was to come back. You know, um, but Morgan isn't small in stature, is he? He's kind of tall. That's the only reason why I'm saying that it might not be Morgan because Morgan is pretty tall. But his motives are there. Diane, you know, everybody that even Joss. I know Joss is his sister, but Morgan always felt like Michael and Joss got more attention, that they were favored more than him. I think it was an episode where he called his parents out on them, um, you know, seeming to favor Michael more. So let me know in the comments. Next on the list is Michael. Everybody mentioned, you know, a few people mentioned Michael more than five times. He made the list. I don't think it was Michael, to be honest. His motives are there, but the people that are getting hurt doesn't make sense. Joss, Diane, Brando. These are people that Michael loved and cares about, so I don't think he will hurt them. Michael is just going after Sonny. He just wants to hurt Sonny. So that being said, like he's trying to infiltrate. He wants Sonny to go to jail. That's why he has Dex like getting information and trying to see what's what, see if he can infiltrate the business and get some incriminating evidence. Michael wouldn't do this. The next person you guys said is a suspect is Cyrus Renault. Cyrus could certainly be pulling the strings from jail. He had, listen, everybody on the list, especially Brando, right? Especially our darling Brando because, you know, Cyrus thought he was going to be with Sasha at one point, which was, ugh. But, um, you know, that's how he was feeding her drugs, you know, keeping her in the condition that she was in and Brando saved her. So he definitely would. But remember when Laura went to see Cyrus in jail, he was all born again and, you know, Harry Krishna and whatever. So I'm still going to keep him on the list because 
Cyrus is Cyrus, right? And he could have somebody outside. Maybe even Nell. I think Nell did. Did Nell know Cyrus? Because I know when she was in jail, she hooked up with Shiloh. Julie, like, Nell surrounded herself by those type of men. Let me know in the comments. Um, do you guys think it's possible, Nell and Cyrus? I'm just putting out things. I don't know. It's possible. Next on the list is Victor. Victor Castadine. Now, we know for a fact that Victor wouldn't do this on his own. He would definitely hire somebody to do it. And he had motive. He could not stand Sonny. The reason why I'm not sure about Victor, though, in this aspect is because who would he have do it? You know, he would have somebody else do it. He couldn't even really take Laura out properly. Sorry, guys. I have to take um. I be telling y'all all my little business, but I have migraine sometimes. And I'm trying to get my thing on migraine pill out the bottom. I don't take the whole pill because it makes me tired. But I take a half. And I was trying to fight through it till I got home, but it's not working. Um. Okay, so next on the list is Cody. I don't know if it's Cody because... Well, okay. What do we know about Cody? He is new in town. We are finding out um, some stuff about him. Now I'm getting hot. Part of the migraine game. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, I had to roll my windows down. Y'all bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> um, I said Cody was next on the list. <sighs> I mean, Cody has an alibi. He was with Britt when um, the stabbing occurred. For Ava, when Ava got stabbed, he was with Britt. Hold on, I got to swallow this pill. Hold on. Okay, so the first stabbing, Cody was with Britt in the horse house. The second stabbing was Brando. I'm not exact. I think that's when they questioned him and asked him where he was at the time. And that's when I was like, I feel so bad for Brando because he lives alone. Like, who's going to corroborate his story with the horses? It's not his fault. He lived by himself. And then the third um, stabbing, which happened to Diane, he was at the Metro Court waiting for his date with Brit. I'm leaning more towards what I said in the um what you guys said one of the hands said in the video that Cody is an undercover cop. I think that's more of his story than the murderer. Next on the list is Gregory. Sorry Sandy. Gregory made the list cuz he got mentioned 8 times and people are saying it could be Gregory because they don't show him often. What do we know about Gregory other than him being Finn's dad? And now he's snooping around with Alexis you know, call himself helping her catch the killer, but he's snooping around, call himself helping her catch the killer. But the thing about that is, with him helping her, he knows, you know, information. You know, he's kind of like insider information. He's very weak on my list because he was with Alexis when Diane got stabbed. I don't know where Gregory was when Ava and, um, brando got stabbed i do not know i don't know because he's staying on the list because i don't know where he was if you know where gregory was when brando and ava got stabbed let me know in the comments and i'll take him off the list next on the list you guys are putting marshall pork pie hat marshall is on the list you guys put him on there 12 times because he's a schizophrenic he's new to town and he does not like sunny he thinks sunny is up to something you know messing with curtis being mean to curtis it is possible like some of the hands said that marshall was having a schizophrenic episode he is not taking his meds and he is flashing out and going around killing people that sunny care about another hand please remind me who you were it was either patricia lisa cat or kathleen it was one of you guys that said the last time you noticed it might have been Catherine that said the gait of the person the way they walked it was slow almost limp like to where they even said it was monica they thought it was monica or somebody that could have did it but that you know put an idea in one of the other hen's head and said it was could be marshall and i'm going to keep marshall on the list because that's a good suspect marshall is somebody that we enjoy his character, you know, when he's with the family. I think it's wonderful um, that they have a patriarch now for the Ashfords. However, if Marshall were to do this, if he were to be the hooker, I wouldn't care. I mean, not care in that sense. He's just not a major character to where if he had to go away, it wouldn't shake up the story or put a major dent in the story is what i'm trying to say without i mean i'm not saying he wouldn't be missed i'm just saying that it wouldn't be a major blow to the character arcs if 
Marsha was was the stabber and it would make sense he has motive means opportunity it could certainly be Marshall next on the list is my favorite Julian Jerome Julian Jerome the only reason why though I'm not putting him on the list well I put him on the list because he was mentioned several times but the only reason why I personally don't think so is because why would he hook his sister unless he's working with his ex-wife nail god bless America Okay, I done put another idea in my own head, and then I just say I had a headache. Because Julian and Nell, they were married, you guys. I mean, and Julian has every reason in the world to want to take out Sonny and his team, but not a. But he loved his sister, and he wouldn't allow anybody else to hurt her, especially in in that way. So, um, we're gonna keep Julian on the list. I just don't know because of the Ava thing. Next on the list is Brad because he works for Miss Wu and he had access to the lab and he may know about poisons and he was mentioned like seven times, I think. Yeah, seven. I put seven by his name. So um, on the orders of Wu is basically why he's a suspect. And last but not least, my favorite suspect of all that's going to get me and Catherine off and out of the kids table, Jake, little Jake. Why wouldn't it be Jake? Jake ain't so little no more. Jake's got to be, what, 13, 14 at this point. He was a tall young man. Not, you know, taller. Pretty tall. Tall enough to be the person standing in that doorway that stabbed Diane. He would have every reason to want to get rid of Sonny and his people. He probably feels like these are the people that kept my dad away from me. I think somebody said Britt might be the next one to get hooked. And if Britt gets hooked, it's definitely little Jake. Britt was the last one to be with his father. Britt was the reason why his father went out of town and got killed in the first place. Kind of, sort of, as far as little Jake is concerned. You know what I'm saying? In a child's mind, you're the reason why my dad went out of town. He went out of town to help you and he never came back, but you did. You're next. Sonny and them. Jason dedicated his entire life to Sonny and his family in that organization. Why wouldn't Jake be like, listen, poop out surprise. Y'all, y'all gonna get it. Y'all took my daddy away from me and every every sense and then let's not forget also jake was uh taken by helena he was um somebody else brought this up in earlier videos i'm sorry if i can't remember because it was so long ago that jake was conditioned by helena that mind control thing somebody could have flipped his switch he could have accidentally flipped his own switch jake and i'm standing on this with you catherine i'm standing 10 toes down at jake Little Jake Elizabeth's son with Jason is our killer. Put it in the comments. So y'all not y'all can't stop me. Can't stop me. It's Jake or Rory. But I'm leaning more towards Jake right now. All right, you guys. I am way behind on lunch. And plus this headache kind of slowed me down. But I'm glad I got this one out. Once this pill kicks in and this pain goes away, I'm gonna get another comment video out. Thanks for listening to me, Jen Hens. I hope y'all enjoy this. Put, you know, comments. We're gonna talk about it. Catch y'all in a minute.